Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Patience. If today is the first time you're stopping by, welcome. And also welcome to my old returning subscribers. If you've been watching my videos and you're yet to subscribe, what are you waiting for? Easy peasy, the subscribe button is down somewhere there. And also there's a bell notification sign that you can tap on. That way you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Please don't forget to like this video before you go. And to my friends that I send my videos to on WhatsApp, please, if you really want to make a comment concerning the video do it on my youtube channel that will help my channel grow please if you really want to help me grow this channel so today i'll be talking about perfection in this imperfect world most of us were so concerned about getting things done in a certain way making things perfect but we forget to understand that there's, that there's beauty in the imperfection that we have in our body I don't know how many of you saw this gorilla glue girl. Maybe she wasn't trying to get her hair slayed down the perfect way. Maybe she ran out of, if I'm not mistaken, maybe she ran out of her hair glue. She had to use the gorilla glue. But it's one thing I've come to realize in this modern world is that most of us go out of our way to get certain things done on our body just for the sake of perfection. I don't mind changing my wigs. I don't mind cutting my hair just to get that perfect look that I want. But yeah, so people go under the knife. Talking about going under the knife, I've done that. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be wondering, did she get a breast augmentation? Was it liposuction she get? Did she do a Brazilian butt lift because I am heavily endowed <laughs> down here? Let me tell you what happened. I actually did a cosmetic surgery. Just listen before you judge me. It was actually a thyroidectomy and it's a cosmetic surgery. So, uh, 2010, I went to remove my coil and my doctor told me, Miss Obi, have you noticed this growth on your neck? Before I take out that call, you have to do something about it. And I was booked, I, I went for a consultation and I was booked for a surgery. They removed it, uh, it, it doctor me, they removed the growth here. What do they call it again? Is it, um, yeah, I can't remember the name. When the growth, oh, I'll try to remember and put the name down there. So they removed it and they checked it wasn't, uh, it wasn't cancerous, so my doctor, my OBGYN, had to remove my coil, and I took him. It was a twin pregnancy. My first surgery was to take out this. I've actually done surgery three times, or should I say two and a half times? <laughs> so the second one was an elective surgery. My CS. I knew I was expecting a child. Not. A child. I was expecting two children actually, and yeah, I opted for a C-section, and thank God I did that. Um, unfortunately, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I I lost um, the fifth baby. My daughter came out, the fourth child, and my fifth child couldn't make it, and the doctor was like. Mr. B, you have a very beautiful girl that you've been waiting for and the boy cannot make it. it my son was finding it difficult to breathe and they tried to resuscitate, resuscitate him and they had to call my husband. My husband's office wasn't far from the hospital he came and they told him and yeah, we lost the boy, that's just it and we lost the boy. And, and it was a good thing I opted for that surgery because the doctor said it would have, the other baby would have affected my daughter. I don't know how so, but uh, I was glad that I opted for the surgery because the surgery saved my daughter's life. Mm. And the third one was actually a non-invasive surgery. I had kidney stones and I'm talking about this thing now because so many people go the extra mile to get surgery done. They are so brave because they have to 
packed with huge amount of money just to get certain places fixed in their body and they have to go through their, that risk. Some of them might end up not coming out successful. And I'm just talking about this because we are so crazy about getting certain things perfect in our body. And to me, it is not attainable. It is not attainable. The Gorilla Glue Girl went through all that just because she wanted her hair slayed in my own opinion to me i think it's a very stupid thing and there's a picture of uh i don't know if i'm all over the place now but there's a picture of um a before and after photo of uh chris brown's mom the doctor they did a very good job there <laughs> but me as a human being i don't think um cosmetic surgery is something i don't even have the money to go for a cosmetic surgery i don't have the money i don't and i'm scared of going for surgeries if not for the health reason of if not that my doctor asked me to go for consultation and they needed to remove that growth on my neck to check if it is cancerous i wouldn't have gone for that surgery and um because i needed to take out my coil for my next baby that was why i went for the surgery and i don't know where people get the strength from to go for surgeries cosmetic surgery where do they get the strength from if you have the money, is it something that you will consider? One, I don't have the money. Two, I'm not that strong. I'm very, very, I'm, a, I'm very, very scared. I don't think I would want to go for a surgery just because I want to beautify my body. I see a lot of people, a lot of Nollywood actors, the female ones actually, see their body. I see a lot of them and I, I admire them. They have the courage and they have the money to go for it. For people that go for cosmetic surgery, they are brave. One, they have the money to go for it. Two, the risk they take just because they want to get perfection. I don't know if perfection is actually attainable. To me, it is not. You might get close to it, but it's not. It's not attainable. So they, let's go back to the Gorilla Blue Girl. Maybe she wasn't trying to like attain perfection when it comes to slaying her hair. She ran out of glue. But some people go through certain things like that just to attain perfection, which is to me, it's not achievable. Did you see what she went through? She eventually had to go through surgery to get it removed. Is surgery something that you would want to go through just because you want to beautify your body you want to there's nothing absolutely nothing wrong with it if you can afford it and if you're strong enough to go through it i know there's this okay yeah i'll try as much as possible to get chris brown's mom's before and after picture man the transformation is something else it is something else people that went for People that sorry, people that go for uh, cosmetic surgery, they are really strong. They are brave, brave to part, part away with their money and to go through such risk just to get a perfect body. Anyway, I don't know what you think about this video. Is cosmetic surgery something that you would want to get? Would you want to? Go under the knife just because you want to attend that perfect hourglass. I want your comment in the comment section. And I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like this video before you go. Bye. Hey y'all. For those of y'all that know me know. My hair has been like this for about a month now. It's not by choice. No. It's not by choice. When I do my hair, I like to, you know, finish it off with the little got the big glue spray. You know, just to keep it in place. Well, I didn't have any more got the big glue spray, so I used this. Gorilla glue spray.
bad, bad, bad idea. Yo, look, my hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? It don't move. I've washed my hair 15 times and it don't move. Stiff wear. Woo! My hair. So I'm going to tell y'all like this. If you ever, ever run out of got to be glue spray, don't ever, ever use this unless you want your hair to be like that. For but as y'all can see, I'm sorry. As y'all can see, the cotton kind of got stuck. But we gonna try to use this like they said. And I'm gonna try to, you know, for it to not burn so much. That's why we got the water soaking. So after I wipe it with these, I'm about to wipe it. Is that? 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 Try this top part. I'm Trying to just wipe it a little bit and then put this on there so it don't burn as much. But I'm getting to like her scalp part where she got this part at. So that might burn, but I'm just letting you know. That's where I'm going next. All right, here we go. One, two. Good, good. Put the, put the water, try to put the water, water. Oh. No. Miss. <laughs> Miss. 